Zap is the Zine Archive and Publishing Project. It's a program with the Richard Hugo House in Seattle. Uh, we have a collection of about 21,000 zines, roughly. It's a non-lending collection, so you can't check items out, but you can come in and read during our open hours. We also have a number of workshops, and we have a workspace and zine making materials and supplies if you want to come in and, and work on your own stuff instead of just looking at zines other people have made. We don't focus on comics specifically, but we do have a large collection of comics, both self-published and independently published. So you, you come across things and you squirrel them away to the uh, room in the Richard Hugo house, and you save them for the future. Basically, yeah, and also saving them for the future and also to make sure people have access to these things, because, you know, zines are, uh, you know, sometimes with a zine published uh, a number of years ago, it can be very hard to find. Uh, they, they usually go into print pretty quickly, uh, usually have very, very short production runs. So, you know, also, you know, just making sure that people are able to, to find these materials and, and read them and enjoy them uh, in, in the years to come and that they, they won't become lost to history. It's autobiographical. This is first, but these don't matter which one comes first. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which one comes first. No. It's just about my guilty pleasures. Okay. And the book is coming out this week and it will be on sale at Danger Room. And do you have a website? I don't. Then you're a complete mystery to the world. I am. I have a Tumblr that I talk about my comics on and 323 people see it every day. And, and what's the title of that? Lover's Meatloaf. Lover's Meatloaf? Yes. So do you, do you feel like you have a good grasp of who you are because of this? Yes. This is, making this comic has made me come to know myself much, much more. So when you draw the comics, do you sometimes have self-revelation? You're just, hey, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even realize I had these guilty pleasures, a lot of them, until I started making the comic. And now, and now people can look straight into your soul if they look at your Tumblr or if yes. they see your book. Yep. And, and how does that make you feel? A little nervous, but excited. That's provocative. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> at the table right here, uh, Moon Diary, which is a two-year And it's got, a, it's got a Moon Crater disc. Yeah, it's got some bonus features. It harkens back so. to the olden days, people being creative with what their discs look like. <laughs>